Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel for another episode of my team career. Um, we are here in France in what is a wet qualifying. But if you do remember last season, season one, I actually got my very first win here in France. Uh, in the mixed conditions and surprisingly the horses were running P2 and P3 for a while. Um, but yeah, this is a track I got my very first win on so it, uh, it is uh, well for my, our my team I got our very first win here so it is quite a special track to me it is a track I do feel very confident on and let's see if we can make it I think it is three wins in a row now um, yeah but okay, I just want to actually say sorry guys for not being for not uploading I was just a bit busy you know but I'm gonna try upload from Monday to Thursday this week so from today until Thursday I'm gonna try upload every day uh, maybe even Friday I'll see how things go. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very excited to get this race on. We're in good form at the moment. Um, I've focused a lot on durability so that we don't get any more engine failures because it was just so ridiculous. The first, like the first couple of races of the season and last season, it was just honestly horrible. Um, yeah, after not a after having like three DNFs in a row, we we got two wins in a row. I think it was two wins in a row, and uh, I think for this tra race we're gonna try go for our third win in a row. Um, our car is really good, it is really quick, um, I do like this track, even in the wets, so I think it's going to be a good race, I think it really is going to be a good race, but you know, that's not for me to say, it's up to whether the AI have something to say about it or not. Um, but yeah, we're coming towards the end of our first lap here in qualifying one, and I went out a bit later, and uh, Luke coming around the final corner now, easy does it on the power, don't want to get too much wheel spin, get a good exit, and so now we just power down to the start finish line, let's see what we do, we do a 1 minute 38.9, so, well so not bad at all, and that actually was the quickest time of the session with our teammate Leclerc just behind us, but he's 6 tenths behind, almost 7th, so we have got a lot more pace than the AR over here it seems. But uh, the race is a different story over the... Maybe they're just not so good in the wets, but we'll see. Um, anyways, we're going to come now to lap 2. Or actually qualifying 2, sorry. For our first lap. First and only lap. I only normally do about one lap. Because um, I don't feel like I need two laps. If I do feel like I need two laps, obviously I will go again. But sometimes I think my pace is good enough for just one lap. Um, but yeah, we are for Q2 now. Going on our first run. As you can see, once again, I've gone out a bit later. I like to go out a bit later after all the AI have already come back in for after their first first lap. Because I feel like the tracks more rub it in, there's more grip. Some of the water's also been dispersed. Um, as we said, a fastest first sector there, if you see on the bottom left. And it looks like we had a bit of a bit of a twitchy rear end coming out of that corner there. But yeah, this this track is definitely one of my favorite, eh? Definitely, definitely one of my favorite. Can't complain. Um, Especially over here, there's such a great overtake the opportunity into that corner after that straight. And then this fast right hander, if you can go through there side by side, it makes for some really, really good racing. And um, yeah, the big surprise for me actually is Antonio Giovinazzi, after starting the season very well, I mean he doesn't qualify well, but he finishes the race almost on the podium. So that's really good. but. The last couple of races, he just hasn't been there, man. He just has not been there. I don't know what's happening with the car. I don't know if the engine's not as powerful anymore. Um, so I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what's what's going on with the, Alf, the Aston Martins at the moment. Uh, Mercedes and Red Bull are still the quickest cars, but McLaren's, McLaren's catching up really, really quickly. So it's going to be an interesting end to the season when the time does come, you know. Uh, but yeah, we're going to come across the line now to set a 1 minute 38.5. That that's that's really good. That's quicker than our first first outing. And we have topped the top sheets again by almost a second this time. Wow. Wow, what are the AI doing? The is only 7th this time? I don't know what's going on, man. Maybe there's traffic for them. I don't know. But this is not the AI I'm used to, man. I uh, might have to bump the difficulty up again. But we'll see how the race goes. The race is obviously the defining moment. But anyways... We're here into Q3 now, and once three again, to go. we're coming out in the last three minutes after everyone's already done their lap. There's actually people going out for their second lap now when we're doing our first, so we got to make this one count if we want to get a pole position. Sun's peeking through the clouds up there, 
Um, obviously not enough to dry anything up, so it should be okay for the Enters. Good thing about actually qualifying on the Enters, I get a free choice of tyre for the race. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna see what I, what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna try to do a one stop, go from mediums to hard. Um, I definitely think I can pull that off and I think it'll definitely give me the best chance of winning, especially if I do start on pole as we did for sets of Foss's first sector there, if you looked in the bottom left, it was purple. Um, so far, after their first laps, it looks like Leclerc managed to get sick. Ricardo 9th, Norris 7th and Gasly 8th, so McLaren's not looking too strong here, not looking too strong here. But our car does have some serious, some serious straight line speed and it is quite light. Um, as you said, a faster sector 2 over there, just saw in the bottom left. And going nice and easy through this fast right hand. They can't really take it flat out, otherwise you do spin, especially if you steer too much. As we kind of mess up the, the uh, long right hander there, went in a bit too hard to try to use the engine to slow ourselves down a little bit. Because I don't want to push too much off the brake, because I'm going to lock up and just keep going straight anyways. So yeah, I tried to do a bit of engine braking there, hopefully that doesn't wear our engine out a bit too much. Uh, but yeah, we're coming around the final corner now. Can we get a good exit for the straight? Well, it looks like we do. Nice and easy does it. Now we're just going to power down the straight to see where we land up. And it looks like we've set a 1 minute 38.6. Good job. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. The owner driver, Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. And that's pole position for us, man. Feels good, happy about that. Leclerc only in eighth, that's a bit disappointing, but we'll see what he can do in the race. ...again then at Le Castellet for another round of this year's Formula One World Championship. Renault took their first French Grand Prix win all the way back in the inaugural race in 1906, but it was another 73 years before they could take their second. I'm sure Alpine will be pushing hard to delight the local fans here today. Mastering a lap of Paul Ricard means getting to know 15 corners, 6 left and 9 right, for an overall lap distance of 3.6 miles. The two halves of the long Mistral Strait are separated by a heavy braking zone into a potential overtaking hotspot at the Chicane Noor. And watch out for the drivers running onto the distinctive coloured stripes, which are low in grip and highly abrasive. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. It's the owner driver in pole position then, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Bottas, Sergio Perez and Sainz, Gasly, Leclerc, Norris and Daniel Ricciardo, Vettel, Giovinazzi, Lance Stroll and Sonoda, Ocon, Joe, George Russell and Robert Schwartzman, Mick Schumacher, Lundgaard, Latifi and Nikita Mazepin. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. That's the plan, Jeff. As you can see, our strategists have given us the one-stop, so that's good. They believe I can do the one-stop. Um, Two-stop, I don't think it's be as powerful. I actually have really, really big, big gaps. But, um, yeah, uh, obviously lower fuel, get the car lighter so it can be quicker. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe as we get our five red lights, as we get ready to begin the French Grand Prix. And off we go. We get quite a good start. It's one of our best starts in a while. We're going, we're going over to the right to cover off Max Verstappen a little bit, but we've got the inside line, but he is a lot quicker, he doesn't get a better start. And we go through on him into the first corner, just about holding onto that first place position, 
and we are staying in first place. Max Verstappen behind us, Bottas in third, Hamilton fourth, and Perez in fifth. Our teammates, I'm not sure if he's made up any places yet, but we've had a dream start. Now we just need to try and control the pace, try and stay first, and hopefully we can get another win to claw back some even more points for our championship charge after those three DNFs in a row cost us quite a lot. As we're coming down onto the main straight now, Max Verstappen's right behind us, he's in the slipstream, he's moving to the left hand side of us, he's going to try to go around the outside, we've got the inside line, will we be able to hold it off, it looks like we're just about to, he absolutely tries to send one into the next corner, but it looks like we managed to hold off just for now, but the AI are looking much, much, much quicker than what they were, as you're giving Max Verstappen a big old push off the track into the fast right hander, so he can't take it as fast as us. But the AR are looking a lot quicker than they were in qualifying as we all come around the loop now. That's quite a nice shot of all the cars coming around. But we managed to hold on to that P1 position. But as I was saying, these AR are looking a lot quicker than they were in qualifying. As we come into lap 3 now, DRS is enabled. Max Verstappen is behind us with DRS. He's going to go to the inside. We're going to stay on the outside. It is the quicker line. And we keep that position from him. And we stay P1, but Max Verstappen does have the fastest lap. Uh, so he is looking mighty, mighty quick this race. So I think the Honda power units are working like an absolute charm. Um, I think Leclerc is still about 8th or 7th place. He hasn't really made up places. The Ferrari of, I think it's maybe Sainz or Leclerc, not quite sure. He's in 6th place, so that's pretty good. Let's have a look here. Now, Charles Leclerc is still in 8th, not exactly where I would want him. But Max Verstappen is going to try and make a move on us. He had the DRS, he actually gets ahead of us before the corner. Now, we've got to try and sit with him until the next DRS zone to try and overtake him. Um, I think I can do that, but he is looking mighty, mighty quick here at the French Grand Prix. Um, obviously, his AI is really good compared to others. So, he is a bit of a challenge, but if we can stay with him, he's trying to pull a gap on me, I can see it. <laughs> But as long as we can stay within one second, we'll get the DRS, we'll get the overspeed, and we should be able to get past him into the next corner at the end of this straight. So here we go then, DRS open in the slipstream, obviously deploying ERS. We're going to go to the outside for the faster, faster line through the corner. We get past him before the corner, and we can get that P1 position back. But this is some great racing going on between all of us. As we come into lap 8 now, and Max Verstappen... We, we go a little bit wide, we go a bit wide, and that invites for step down the inside of us, but we keep the position somehow. And now we're going to defend. And now him and Bottas are very close to us for this main straight. And uh, he's trying to go around the outside over there. He did quite a dive bomb. I think he tried to do a dive bomb on us. But now Bottas and the step and traded places there just a little bit. But now it's going to come down if I can get a good exit. But I think because of Bottas. Trading places with Verstappen and allowed me to pull away actually as there's a yellow flag behind us on lap 9. What's happened? Who is it? It looks like one of the Red Bulls has dropped away. Is it Sergio Perez? Is Sergio Perez is out of session. That could be crucial for the constructors. That could be very crucial for the, for the constructors. Well, what happened here? I think it's a mechanical failure. It's going around the corner here behind Hamilton and uh, his car just gives out. And he pulls over to the side. I don't know if it's the visual glitch where it's not showing the smoke. Uh, maybe if we get the onboard here, we'll be able to see if there is smoke coming out the back end of his car. Let's just have a look here and see. Yep, there it is. There's the smoke. Yep, so that's a mechanical failure for the Red Bull for Sergio Perez. That's not good news for their constructors. As we come to lap 10, there's another yellow flag. And who's that? Is it Bottas? Bottas? What have you done? Have you had... Has there been a, it's in the exact same spot. Is there another mechanical failure? Is there another mechanic? What's happened? Oh, Bottas, what have you done? You're the championship lead. Oh, he spun it. The championship leader spun it. Hi, right, that's another crucial moment for the driver's championship. Never mind constructors. Bottas, you spun it, my boy, he lit up the rear end and he spun it and now he's dropped out of the points. How crucial could that be for the for the driver's championship, even with him as we almost spun it coming out of that corner. But how crucial could that be for the, the, the driver's championship? With Hamilton last it's race, not making any points because of Perez Kamikaze bombing him as we go around. Side by side with Max Verstappen here, doesn't quite work, he's got the faster speed and we tried the inside. Doesn't quite work, but we're going to come to the end of lap 12. We're going to make an overtake going into the pit lane. We pull the Sebastian Vettel on him. 
My word, that's a cheeky little move from us to get that first place back. <laughs> Let's just have a look of that. Max Verstappen's on board view. I want to see. Look, we just fly past him. Looks like he kind of just left us the room. He's like, here you go, mate. Take it. Take it if you want. But that was a cheeky move from us. But anyways, like how crucial could that be if for Bottas spinning out there? If he can't make it back into the points, he's sitting in 14th right now. If he can't make it back to the points, that's going to be actually really good for us to try and claw back up there. And uh, yeah, if, 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 so it's, it's a good race. It's a good race. It's turning into quite a spicy race. Um, our teammate Leclerc is actually leading the race right now, but he is still yet to pit. I think he's going to pit on the next lap. As we're going to come out ahead of the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz, but we still, crucially, we are still ahead of Max Verstappen. As we're coming on to lap 16 now, we're actually riding on board with our teammate Leclerc. Oh, he has pit and he's going for a move on Lewis Hamilton for third place. So he started eighth and he's making a move on Hamilton for third place. Can he get it done? Looks like it's going to be a close one. He's got the inside line into this next corner. Can he make it work? It looks like he just about is able to make it work. So that's a really good job from our teammates to get up into P3 from P8. Absolutely love that. As we're riding on board with Max Verstappen here on lap 24 and he's got an engine blown. That's, a, that's the other Red Bull, Max Verstappen. He's got an engine failure. Both Red Bulls are out of this race. And now if Hamilton finishes third place, he'll be on par. He'll be tied with Max Verstappen once again for third for, for second place in the Constructors' Championship. That's absolutely bonkers. Coming on to lap 25 now though. Hamilton's trying to look to get past Pierre Gasly. He must know that if Max, Max Verstappen's out of the race, he obviously would have seen him. So he must want to get that P3 so he can be level points with Max Verstappen coming the end of the race. But our Charles Leclerc wants that third. He's in, actually he wants that second place because Max Verstappen's out, sorry. Charles Leclerc is going for it. He's going for it. He's on the outside. He gets it done before the corner. Charles Leclerc is moving up to P2. So it's a JR racing team. P1 and P2. This is dream for us. This is a dream. And that's the last lap. That was the move on the last lap. As we almost spin it coming out of the very last corner. We're going to come across the line to win the French Grand Prix. Where we got our first win. And it's a 1 2 for our team. This is an absolutely phenomenal result for our team. For the constructors and the drivers. Couldn't ask for a better race. There's some great battles around Paul Ricard today, and they've taken a fantastic win. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. Uh, we're having a look here at the uh, driver standings. We've moved up into P2, eight points behind uh, Valtteri Bottas, only one point ahead of Max Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton's made up some places. Leclerc is also up. The top ten, the top five, sorry, are you separated by about 19 points? So this is going to be a five-way championship battle if things keep going the way they are. I we move up into P2 in the constructors ahead of the Red Bulls because they're both DNF. That was such a crucial point for this race. Both Red Bulls out of the race. Bottas didn't even finish in the points, I don't think. I think we'll have a view here now. now. But this is absolutely the result we were looking for. We moved up into P2 in the constructors. We're back in the, constru uh, the uh, driver, sorry, back in the driver's fight. Um, couldn't be happier, but it is going to be a very tough one. If we get another DNF, man, that's going to be so disappointing. But here's the race results. Well done to our teammate Leclerc from going from P8 to P2. Very well done from him. Very happy with that. Um, where is Valtteri Bottas? Did he finish in the points? Did Bottas finish in the points? Yes, he did. He finished only 7th though, so not good enough. And both Red Bulls are out, so that's... Yo, that, what a race, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is absolutely a bang of a race. Let me know your thoughts. But anyways, bye for now, and I'll see you in the next one.